All right, we're back now, 743, with a story that is sparking outrage on the set this morning. It's a new Rawson Report series called Secret Shopper. This morning, does it cost more to be a woman yes. in America? I knew it. Today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with more on that. Jeff, good morning. Hey, how often are we hearing, Matt, from the ladies up there, how hard it is to be a woman? All the time. Well, that is not exactly it's what we more. said, but it does cost more. It does you cost more. Research? Yeah, you hear the pink tax? It's called yeah. the pink tax. I'd never heard of it. Um, maybe that's because I'm a guy. Well, experts say if you're a woman, just about everything costs you more than similar products marketed for men. A few cents here, a couple of dollars there. It may not seem like much, but when you add it all up, experts say women are paying nearly $1,400 more a year just to be a woman. They're the everyday necessities. And whether you're a man or a woman, we all do it. Shampoo, shave, and use deodorant. But studies show women are paying more than men for those bare essentials. Retail experts call it the pink tax. Everything from deodorant to razors and shaving cream. I've never noticed this. You wouldn't notice this because women's products are separated from the men's products, so it's not easy to compare the prices. But you're saying this is happening. This is actually happening. Women are paying more than men. All right, let's give it a shot. This is my producer, Giovanna, obviously a woman, <laughs> and you made a shopping list. I did. I sent you the shopping list. I'm going to go in and buy products. I want you to buy products from the same companies, but marked specifically for men. All right, let's try. Let's go. Let's see. I head straight to the men's aisle, and there's Giovanna over in the women's. Men's shaving gel, two twenty-nine. Women's shaving gel, two thirty-nine. That's right. It's the same exact brand. One says women's shaving gel, the other says men's. But it's ten cents more for the purple women's version. That may not seem like a lot, but we're just getting going. Men's two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, three ninety-nine. Two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, four seventy-nine. Same exact bottle, same active ingredient, but the women's version cost almost a dollar more. But why? Target telling NBC News prices can vary, and as for the men's and women's shaving creams, they have different formulas, and the women's ingredients cost more. And check this out: Dove Men Care deodorant, and this is three eighty-nine. Dove deodorant, four eighty nine. A dollar more for the women's version here too. So what gives? Brands know that women will pay more to look good and feel good, and by targeting these products specifically to women, they know they'll pick those up. And you do. And we do. But just wait till you see the price difference between these twin packs of degree deodorant, same active ingredient. Men's version, four seventy nine. But for the women, eight seventy nine. Women pay four dollars more. Unilever, the maker of Dove and Degree, saying the only reason for the price difference is because the deodorants come from different product lines with different technologies. But it's not just your shopping cart. Experts say women are paying more at the dry cleaners, too. All right, so we went to the same exact store. We both bought white collared shirts. I have the men's version. I have the women's version. We'll see how much it costs. My bill, $2.50. Giovanna's bill, $5. Twice as much. Why is it more expensive? The men's shirt, when they wash it, it press by the machine. Ladies' shirt kind of fit on the machine. So they press on them, have to do it by hand. Oh, by hand. Oh, you know, ladies always more expensive. From the cleaners to the aisles. And remember, this was just one batch of errands. Think how often you go. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And when these are items you're buying every day, it adds up quickly. Yeah, sure does. That expert says the best way to get a deal next time you're shopping, go to the men's aisle, compare the products and the active ingredients with the similar products in the women's aisle. And by the way, that expert told me she only buys men's razors and men's shaving creams, and it works. That's what I do. Wow. That's, that's, how smart, Dylan got yeah. her, that's how Dylan hurt her hand, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true about the, uh, the pressing machine and the dry cleaner? Yeah, though, it the is. women's shirts don't fit on it? That's what the industry well, says. Well, why don't yeah. they make a smaller, smaller size? size? I know. Yeah. They only have this go. model for a man, and they put the shirts on, but it doesn't fit for the women. Yeah, they mm -hmm. say they have to hand press yeah. it, so that's a difference. What's coming up tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow on Secret Shopper, we've all heard those studies are in the over the years about how women pay more at car dealerships. You go in, you get overcharged. So tomorrow morning, we are sending our male and female producers in with hidden cameras to many car dealerships going for the same car. Who will get the better deal, the man or the woman? It's coming up tomorrow while you're on today. I'm prepared to be outraged. Outraged. Yeah. Or surprised. Okay, or surprised. Hopefully pleasantly. All right, Jeff, thank you very much.